everybody. Today I'm going to be doing part three of the brewing tutorial series and today I'm going to be covering the potions, what they actually do. Last time I covered how to make each individual potion. In part one I covered some of the basics of brewing. Now I'm going to talk about what each potion does and why you would actually, you know, brew a potion. So the potions we have right here, and there are five potions, and these are the base potions. We have the water bottle, the awkward potion, the, the mundane potion, the long mundane potion, and the thick potion. Uh, arguably, the most useful is the awkward potion, and uh, so uh, they don't really do anything on their own, but uh, you need them to brew all the other potions, and I explained that in part two. And I am in creative. I'm going to go into survival now so I can actually demonstrate. Let's go into survival right here. Okay. We're going to start with the first one, which is the instant health potion. By the name, you can usually tell what some of them do. So I'm going to take some fall damage right here. See, I took about three hearts. And now, with that, I healed two hearts and the rest of it was healed naturally. So if you need some quick healing, uh, do keep in mind I am on easy mode, so that is why it was pretty quick. So that's what the healing potion does, it can give you some fast healing. Here next, we have the harming potion. Now, it'll be kind of hard to notice, so you have to have some quick eyes, because I'm on easy mode. But if I were to drink this, you notice I take three hearts of damage instantly. So that's what the harming potion does. Usually you don't want to drink it, and um, there's actually a use for this not just drinking it. Next we have the uh, night vision potion and what this potion will do, I'm actually going to go into a dark room right here, place down some ladders. Now you can see it's a lot brighter. The cave noises that were recently added into the game. And so yeah, that's what the night vision potion does. You can you might have noticed that when I was walking in here, it's really dark, hard to see. However, I can see perfectly fine. And uh, when it's nighttime, you'll be able to see a lot easier with this potion on. So I'll do slash effect clear. By the way, you can't use this. Um, sorry. Uh, at s. There we go. So, what it does, it just takes away the effects. Next one we have here is the uh, invisibility potion. And what this will do, drink it. you can see you can't see me on there. You can't even see my hand. I'm not holding anything. So, it's because I have invisibility. If I were to go into third person, uh, let's see. So, uh, let's do third person back. You can't see me, but you can see these particles right here. So, that is the usefulness of the potion of invisibility. However, when I have an item in my hand, or I wear some armor, uh, let's say a diamond helmet, for example. Let's say I put that on. See, now I have a diamond helmet on me. You can actually tell where I am. So. When you're using a potion of invisibility and you're wearing armor, it can be a bit hard to uh, deal with it. But either way, it has some usefulness. We have the next thing right here, potion of leaping. And what this can do is it can allow you to make jumps higher than normal. Normally, you can't jump over a fence. However, with the jump boost potion, I can easily do it. Okay, that was that was unfair. But this, this you would normally not be able to do. But with the jump boost, you can. And uh, this is another potion. Uh, I'll keep these away for now. Next one we have is fire resistance, and by the name, you can go into fire without taking damage. Same thing with lava. So, as you can see right here, not taking any damage, completely fine nothing special. I don't even have fire on me, so that's even better. Next one we have here is swiftness, or speed, and it'll make me run a lot faster. 
This one particularly isn't that fast, but I'll show you how to make potions better. Um, uh, you can't make them too much better, but they can be very useful in any sort of situation. So that's one case. Next case is the potion of slowness. It does the opposite. Uh, let me clear effects really quick. Now I'm going to put on slowness. And you'll notice that I'm moving a lot slower now. Not too much slower to be honest, but um, it is quite slow still. Next one we have is water breathing. So I'm going to go in here. And you guys might know that you'll start drowning if you stay in water for too long. However, there's nothing of the sort happening. You don't even see the bubbles pop up. So with water breathing, this can be useful for something if you are... Um, say exploring an underwater ruin or a shipwreck or even the sea temple which was added a while back next we have the potion of poison and what this does it does damage to you over time one thing that's important to note about the potion of poison even if you're on a low amount of hearts uh, poison cannot kill you you can't be killed by poison so it's important to note that so now that you've seen, and your hearts turn green, and it's pretty easy to notice. Oh god. And you notice that you get all the way down to half heart. Now let's say you want to regenerate all those back. Use the function of regeneration, which will regenerate those hearts back. Next we have the potion of strength, which I'm going to drink right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attack this one. You can count how many hits this time. So that took a few hits, but I was just using my fist. Now, let's see how long it takes if I were to just use my fist. It should, in theory, take a lot more, because strength makes you stronger. That, I believe, did take a few more hits. I didn't count, but, uh... I'm sure for any of you geeks out there, you guys could count. So next we have the potion of weakness, and I did not put any demonstrations, but what it'll do is it'll make you weaker. Uh, it will make you do less damage. Uh, next we have the potion of decay. This one actually might end up killing me. Yeah, I think it's going to end up killing me. And there we go. I died. I didn't even drop my stuff, but it's okay. Uh, so, next thing we have right here is the potion of the Turtle Master, which you might have seen me holding earlier. And what it does, it gives you some really bad slowness. Slowness 4 and resistance 3. And they work sort of like how uh, they did in enchanting. The higher the Roman numeral, the worse or better it'll be so something like poison 2 will actually poison you much faster than poison than normal poison but um uh yeah but something like regeneration 2 will regenerate you really fast next we have the potion of slow falling so i'm gonna do a little demonstration here fall down i take one and a half hearts of damage from that now i'm gonna go up here and drink the slow falling potion you'll notice that i fall slowly and nothing is done. So, 